Welcome to the Book of Revelation podcast, brought to you by revelationscriptures.com. Today we are trying to scripturally understand when the Book of Revelation will start to be fulfilled. How will we know? So we're going to click on this link, and then we're going to scroll down to the when virtual map and load it up. Enlarge. The Book of Revelation will start to occur when global population numbers plummet. The fourth seal says a quarter of the earth will be killed. The sixth trumpet says an additional one-third will be killed. And in the seven vials of wrath, God says at Isaiah 13, 12, he's going to make people rarer than fine gold. As of 2017, the current population is 7.3 billion and increasing exponentially. In contrast, when the book of Revelation starts to be fulfilled, look for the exact opposite. Instead of population numbers increasing, look for global population numbers to plummet and to fall off a cliff when the book of Revelation starts to be fulfilled. Let's look at Revelation's three population reduction predictions, visually and scripturally. The first population reduction occurs during the beginning of birth pangs. The fourth seal at Revelation 6-8 says, Death and Hades were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, pestilence, and by the wild beasts of the earth. Revelation's second population reduction occurs during the sixth trumpet and the second woe. Revelation 9.15 says, So the four angels who had been prepared for the hour, the day, the month, and the year were released to kill a third of mankind. The third and most devastating population reduction occurs during the great day God's wrath. Wrath is the key to merging, aligning, or connecting the seven seals to the seven trumpets to the seven vials. The sixth seal at Revelation 6.16 says, The great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Aligned or connected with the seven vials of wrath, aligned or connected with seventh trumpet wrath, where at Revelation 11.16 it says, The nations were angry, and your wrath has come, again connected to the seven vials of wrath, using wrath to align or connect the seven seals to the seven trumpets to the seven vials of wrath. Wrath is where God's former measurement of one-third destruction now increases to 100%. For example, in trumpet number one, a third of the trees were burned, a third of the earth was burned. Trumpet two, a third of the sea became blood, a third of the sea creatures died, a third of the ships were destroyed. In trumpet number three, a third of the rivers and a third of the springs turned to wormwood. In trumpet number four, a third of the sun, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars were darkened so as not to give their light. And in trumpet number six, the second population reduction, the four angels are released to kill a third. When we get to the great day of God's wrath, God's incremental number of one-third destruction now increases to a staggering 100%. For example, in vial number two, 100% of the sea turns to blood, and everything in the sea dies. In vial three, 100% of the rivers and springs turn to blood. In vial four, 100% of disobedient earth is scorched with fire. In vial five, 100% of the beast's kingdom is plunged into darkness. In vial six, 100% of earth's combined militaries are annihilated and then fed to the birds. Wow. And in the seventh and final vial of wrath, 100% of the cities of the nations fell. Wow, what a mega earthquake. And every island and mountain were no longer found. And finally, 100% of Babylon is judged, destroyed, and burned with fire. What does the Bible say about people? We're going to exit out of the Revelation virtual map, scroll up, and look at what the Bible has to say. As for people, a specific quantity is not given. But Isaiah 13, 12 through 13 says, God will make people more rare than fine gold, and mankind the gold of Ophir. Zephaniah 1, 2 through 3, God says, He will utterly sweep away everything from the face of the earth, declares the Lord. He will sweep away man and beast. He will sweep away the birds of heaven and the fish of the sea and the rubble with the wicked. He will cut off mankind from the face of the earth, declares the Lord. And Isaiah 24, 3 through 6, and we'll just look at verse 6. Therefore a curse devours the earth, 
and its inhabitants suffer for their guilt. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are scorched, and few men are left. And finally, let's look at what the Bible has to say about survivors. In the sixth seal at Revelation chapter 7, the scriptures also predict a great multitude, which no man could number, of survivors who will come out of the great tribulation. At Revelation 7 verse 9, it says, And after this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation and from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands. Verse 14 adds, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. In other words, these are the ones who are obedient, holy, clean, righteous, and have kept all the words of the book of Revelation. In verse 10, they cry out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And the sixth seal concludes with the beautiful words and a partial fulfillment of the Feast of Tabernacles. Verse 15 through 17, here it says, Therefore they are before the throne and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. How beautiful. In conclusion, how will we know for sure when the book of Revelation starts to be fulfilled? Look for global population numbers not to increase exponentially as they currently are, but to decrease exponentially, starting with the fourth seal, followed by the sixth trumpet, and then polished off in the seven vials of wrath. Consider visiting us at revelationscriptures.com. The website has a beautiful, extensive picture gallery and is designed to take you to all the places in the Bible, the scriptures where Revelation comes from and is quoting. By identifying and discovering the biblical source of Revelation, you will find God's interpretation, his thinking, his encouragement, his instructions, his reasons, his warnings, or as Jesus referred to it, this food in due season for every event in the book of Revelation. Let God prepare, train, and program you by means of his beautiful words. May you overcome, conquer, and be victorious by keeping all the words of Revelation. May God bless you with his words, his spirit, and especially obedience.